So today I'm going to show you how to stretch out a felt or wool hat using a hat stretcher. So this hat stretcher isn't anything fancy. This we got on Amazon for just under 20 bucks. This is a great thing to have if you wear a lot of hats. Even if you don't think you need to stretch one necessarily, it's a good thing to have to kind of maintain the shape that you already have in your hat. So I'm just going to show you a couple things about this hat stretcher first before we go to stretching this hat. So the one thing to look at is this right here. So this is not a perfect um, disc. It's actually smaller on one side than it is on the other. And that's basically like I have these two flip flopped right here. So if you were to put this in incorrectly, it might do some goofy stuff to your hat. So you want to make sure that both bigger sides are on top and you'll set this thing down in to your hat. If it helps you to put top, you know, to write top on this, if you can't see that, um, do that. But you definitely don't want to put this in the other way because what will happen is this wider section will actually press out higher than the band and you'll kind of get a bubble effect right there. So that's the first thing to look at when you're looking at your hat stretcher. So what I do is um, first warm up the hat on both sides. And all I'm looking to do is to move this slowly. If I try to really crank on this hat, it's going to do some goofy stuff. I'm actually going to demonstrate that for you real quick. So I'm going to put this in here um, and I'll show you exactly where you want to go. If anything, you want more of it sticking out rather than shoving too much of it in because once again, it will bubble out. So if I really narrow this down, it'll bubble this section instead of stretch it where it needs to be stretched. Okay, so I'm going to set this, if anything, just barely outside of the band and I'm going to start screwing it down just a little bit. Okay, you can see I'm just rotating that center nut, just checking it to make sure it looks kind of to be in the right spot the whole time. So I just want you to watch right here as I go to stretch this. That's going to start to fill that void. At some point in time this hat will actually make noise. And you're not only stretching the felt, but you're stretching all of this stitching in here. So you can go too much. But what happens is when you go to stretch this, it's going to move all over. So if you have a really nice shape on your hat and you go to stretch it, it might change that. So you kind of have to pick your poison. How much do you want this stretched out and how much uh, can your brim tolerate? If it really disforms your brim, you can go and reshape your brim. But just know when you affect one part of your hat, you, you affect all of it. Okay, so I'm gonna put some heat on this. We'll stretch this hat and show you how that's done. So I don't try to put too much heat on it only because I really don't wanna accidentally stretch it too much, but I definitely wanna localize this heat right here in this section. So I'll just keep this moving really well. And then I'm gonna go and just cut the entire steamer with this, try to get the entire inside of this crown warm. And if it feels pretty warm to you, it's probably a good time to go. So I'll go to my board. I will put my hat stretcher in, triple check that I'm correct, set it in there. I might have to loosen it just a little bit to get it in there. Okay, you don't have to work too crazy fast, but I just want to make sure that this seems pretty level. And then I try to square it up down the hat a little bit. The longer you wear a hat, you know, it might change some of where that center point is. But I can see that this needs to move a little bit clockwise, so I'll do that. Okay. And all I'm going to do is go until I get a little bit of pressure and I'm not going to go to cranking it. So then I will let this cool for as long as I can tolerate. And as I'm sitting here, I might look at it and see, did it mess with any of my shaping? It might. And that would be when I would take this stretcher out once it's cooled, try to mess with the brim, get it back to where I wanted it, and then put my block back in. So once you have your hat stretched out to what you want it to be, um, it might not be a bad idea to leave this block in here the entire summer. So you're about ready to take it off in the spring and starting to get warm and then you're not going to put it on again until the fall. It might be the best idea just to stick it in there, don't crank it too far, just kind of maintain the shape and the size that you have in your felt. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Kelly channel.